Central, Western, and Greater Accra regions have recorded fatal cholera cases, while the Central region has recorded seven deaths out of 47 cases as of November 19, 2024. Greater Accra has had 66 confirmed cases with seven deaths, but the Ashanti region is yet to record a case as all 16 cases sent for testing returned negative. Health authorities believe measures including increased public education, surveillance and allocation of dedicated health facilities to treat cholera cases at the district level have yielded positive results. Dr. Fred Adumako Boatin is the Ashanti Regional Health Director. Our target is that even when they get it, they should be able to know as early as possible and come to the facility and so they are managed. That is the target. We are praying and we are putting in a lot of measures, one, so that it doesn't, but should any person get cholera, our target is that nobody should die from cholera. And how do we, how are we trying to achieve this? One, we have discussed with all district directors and all medical soups in the region. And then we have designated one area, one particular area in a district, wherever Whenever anybody in the community is having signs and symptoms of cholera, we don't want the person to be roaming from facility to facility. We want these people to go to this place where people are really trained and they can manage. There are two ways, there are two advantage, advantages in this. They don't spread the disease because they are not roaming from one facility to another. And secondly, they go to a facility where these people have been managing this cholera and therefore over time they would have built expertise. We are also engaging chemical sellers and other pharmacy shops that look. In this time, people will be coming a lot and they will be presenting with these acute diarrhea episodes. This is not the time to be giving them Imodium. This is not a time to straight away be giving the medicines that will stop the diarrhea. These are times that you link up with other facilities within your district to make sure that these cases are referred to designated areas. When we do this, there are two things that we are trying to achieve. One, prevent transmission. And then two, we make sure that we reduce the case fatality rate so that nobody should die from cholera. The announcement comes as health authorities commence phase two of the polio vaccination drive. The four-day campaign, which will kick off on November 21, 2024, is targeting vaccination of over one million children in the region. Dr. Admako Boatin explains why every child must be covered in this campaign. The need for this campaign is to ensure that we vaccinate at least 95% of children in the country. And when it comes to Ashanti region, we are looking at a population of 1,042,361. I must say that the last campaign, Ashanti region, we did extremely well. And we're able to capture more than 95% of these targeted children. Notwithstanding, we have some challenges in some of the districts that we, we are going to deal with this time. Meanwhile, the health directorate is encouraging residents to support all health activities. From Kumasi, for Joy News, Oim Interior reporting.